Hi beauties! Welcome back to another video and I am so excited because today I am sharing with you everything that I eat in a week as a healthy recipe writer. If you are new to my channel, first of all, welcome, I'm happy to see you here. And second of all, my name is Anastasia and I run a wellness application called Greeny. I am very passionate about healthy cooking, about wellness in general, and I like tasty food. I like nourishing my body and feel great. I will talk more about my diet a little bit later in the video. For now, let's start cooking. Good morning, guys! I'm about to make breakfast and today we're gonna be making a tofu scramble. It's so easy to make, it's very nutritious and it's actually one of my go-tos. For the veggie base, chop up some onion and cook it in a pan with some oil and salt until soft and caramelized. Meanwhile, chop up some broccoli and bok choy, add them to the pan, season with salt and pepper and cook until al dente. Then add some crumbled tofu, cumin powder, turmeric, black pepper, nutritional yeast and fresh dill. And here is the final product. We have our scramble, some avo, sauerkraut. I served my scramble with some avocado and homemade sauerkraut for a funky kick and it was extremely delicious. Probably my favorite breakfast of the week. I think the key was to caramelize the red onion first. For lunch slash dinner we had leftover vegan pizza on homemade sourdough whole grain crust with mushrooms, truffles, vegan cheese sauce, onions, herbs and sprouts. It was delicious! For breakfast we had some fried eggs as the main source of protein, some veggies and a toast with butter for carbs and fats. To start off, chop up the veggies. We are using an onion, red pepper, zucchini and bok choy. Saute the onion and red pepper with the olive oil. Then add some chopped zucchini and bok choy, seasoned with salt and pepper. And cook for about a couple of minutes or so. Crack the eggs, add them to the pan, season once again and cook until the eggs are set. Top with chopped parsley and green onion and serve. For lunch slash dinner we are making baked potatoes with chickpea salad. For the salad you need pickles, scallion, capers, onion, cooked chickpeas and nori sheets. Chop everything except for chickpeas and nori and transfer to a large mixing bowl. Add the chickpeas and nori pieces to your food processor and pulse a couple of times. Transfer the mixture to a mixing bowl and dress it up with some mayo or plain yogurt, which is better. <laughs> Season to taste, serve on top of your baked potatoes and garnish with chives and enjoy! I also had an apple for dessert. Good morning, guys! It's 8 a.m. Wednesday and we're heading to town because today there is a farmer's market there and we want to grab some fresh produce before breakfast. Let's go! I made these delicious loaded papaya boats with fresh berries, passion fruit, banana, peanut butter and homemade omega granola. Yum! Hi guys, it's a lunchtime and I'm wearing my face mask and I know it probably looks strange but we're keeping it real here, right? So for lunch I'm gonna be making a lentil soup and I have this very sad cauliflower that I want to use up and I'm gonna be adding it to my soup. The soup is very simple, we're gonna be using some uh, lentils that I soaked in the morning and some fresh herbs, maybe some spices, ginger, garlic, you'll see. It's very easy. By the way, these are my herbs from my garden. Start off with your aromatics. 
I have some ginger and garlic that I have finely chopped. Then I roughly chopped some cauliflower and started frying up some cumin seeds in a pot with a dash of avocado oil until they were nice and fragrant. Then I added the garlic and ginger, cook them for a minute or so before adding the lentils, cauliflower, garam masala, turmeric, salt and black pepper. Stir, 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 pour over some water and let cook away for about 20 minutes or so. And you got a super simple nourishing meal. For my supplements I take some ground flax seeds mixed in water and some magnesium. And the lunch is served. Quick, easy, nourishing and delicious soup. Goes very well with some sourdough toast with butter. Yes. Every time I make soup, I think I need to do it more often. Can you relate, guys? A little bit about my diet. I don't really follow any specific diet and to be honest, I am so, so grateful to finally find my balance and what works for me. I've been vegan, I've been pescatarian, vegetarian, low food mat, low carb. I've tried all sorts of extreme diets and I realized that whole food focused diet that includes three food groups is what works the best for me. I eat tons of plant foods to support my microbiome and my gut health. I also do eat some animal protein here and there for some uh, vitamins, minerals and omega-3. So it's kind of a blue zone Mediterranean approach, I would say. I usually eat at home and make everything from scratch. This is how I like it. And I don't eat processed foods, I don't eat garbage. Uh, what else? I do try to keep my blood sugar stable, so I like eating low glycemic foods as much as possible. I like starting my days with savory breakfast. I try to eat at least one plant-based meal a day. And that's about it. Let's get back to the video. Classic breakfast situation here, avocado and hummus toast with mushrooms. We've just made some sourdough bread and today we have like whole grain one with some chia seeds, sesame seeds and um, what else? Ah, hemp seeds. So a little bit healthier option for breakfast. I'm also making some guac to top the toast and some mushies. For the mushrooms, chop up some red onion and fry it up until nice and caramelized. Then add the chopped mushrooms, a pinch of dried oregano, salt and black pepper. Super quick and easy breakfast. By the way, mushrooms are so good for you guys. They are high in vitamin D and really really good for your gut health by the way you can find these recipes on the greeny app for drinks we had some tea again we like having tea in the morning for lunch slash dinner the day we had some barbecue going on and we are making some grilled vegetables and scallops with mediterranean salsa and some beet salad for the Mediterranean salsa you need sweet cherry tomatoes, olives, red onion, parsley, balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, salt and black pepper. You can actually serve the salsa with everything you like. Here is my husband having fun. For the beet salad you need cooked beets, cooked potatoes, sauerkraut, canned sweet peas, onion, scallion, pickles, olive oil, salt and pepper. It's very delicious and so good for your gut health and the immunity thanks to pre and probiotic content plus fiber. Highly recommend. The scallops, well, they turned out bad. Steamed rather than grilled and pretty bland. It's good in terms of ages. They are kind of healthy, but the flavor profile was terrible. 
happily we have the salsa and salad to make up for it. For dessert I made these absolutely delicious almond flour cookies with some olive oil, a tiny bit of maple syrup, dark chocolate and salt. Oh my god, so yum! We'll probably add them to the app. I just want to mention that not all of my weeks are the same. Uh, this week I've been at home most of the time and I did not really work out that much. So two meals a day was pretty enough for me. But when I closer to my moon cycle, I eat much more. And when I work out, I obviously eat more. So I just listen to my body. When I'm hungry, I eat. When I'm not, I don't like to the video. For breakfast we had some herby guac and hummus toast with poached eggs and sauerkraut plus some tea again. For our lunch slash dinner I made some pasta from my app. It's our favorite veggie packed bolognese made with cauliflower and mushrooms. Nutrition powerhouse to be honest and flavor bomb seriously it's so good the recipe is vegan and it's absolutely delicious as is but you can top it with some parm like we do sometimes i'm about to make a pasta and i was thinking which pasta should i choose for today's dish and i've been reading the labels of each packaging and trying to compare in fact which one is the best this one is whole grain wheat pasta, this one is buckwheat pasta, this one is just plain regular wheat pasta and this one is gluten-free quinoa and rice pasta which is the most expensive one and it turned out it's like the worst pasta because it has a lot of carbs, not enough protein, not enough fiber compared to this one. So I choose the whole grain pasta as the best option. It has much more fiber, much more protein. This one is my second choice, the buckwheat pasta. The third one is the regular pasta and as I told you, this one is the worst pasta. So here's my like toe pasta rating or something like that. I ended up cooking some buckwheat pasta. Here I am chopping up some leftover grilled pepper and eggplant. I made the sauce according to the recipe and it was ready by the time the pasta was done, which was perfect. This dish, you guys, you have to try it. So delicious. Mm. I also made some ghee to use for frying. It's like the best fat for cooking on high heat. It has a very high smoke point and it's rich in important nutrients like vitamin A, omega-3 fatty acids. It may also help reduce gut inflammation and support heart health. Check out our step-by-step -step guide on greeny. Okay, the last breakfast of the week nori wraps with hummus, tofu scramble and fresh veggies. Make the scramble first, then prepare your veggies of choice. Now to the fun part. Place your nori sheet on a plate, top it with some hummus, then add a couple of spoons of tofu scramble, follow it by the veggies. We are using tomatoes, carrots, scallion, red pepper and avocado. Gently roll it, tucking the filling in with your fingers, place on a cutting board and repeat the process. Cut each roll in half and enjoy! For lunch slash dinner we had a barbecue situation again. We grilled some shrimps, veggies and sardines, which is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids and we are lucky to be able to find them. I also made a delicious kale, tomato and carrot salad that I dressed up with some hummus dressing. Yum. I also had a yogurt bowl, no idea when, but it was a homemade coconut yogurt bowl with my greeny omega granola and fresh berries. At the end of the week we went camping and had some basmati rice with tuna cooked by our friend. It was yum, of course when you eat outside and it's freaking cold. All food tastes like heaven. 
Okay, my beautiful friends, it brings us to the end of this week of eating. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you can always show your love by liking and subscribing. I hope you have the most amazing rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Ciao!